today we are going to be using the mi the micro bit and we'll be programming it with the scratch 3.0 let's begin just like the we do 2.0 and ev3 you need to go to extensions micro bit now before we do all of this we need to download a little file just like in the video but this one we need to da drag and drop download the scratch micro bit hex file you click this link as you can see here it is you do this show in folder now you do this you can see it's opened now drag this file like this to the micro bit D as you can see now it's downloading it it's quite fast since it's a small file now as you can see it's starting to display its own name just close this and minimize this now we're ready to connect as you can see it automatically connected itself to the computer let's cross this just reconnect connect Good. now it's ready we'll go in the event section we'll do when the flag is clicked then it will go and it will then display a heart for example as you can see it's displaying the heart on its little LED now let's stop you can change the pattern like this you just click on and off you can hold them just to turn them all off so, like this you can turn it off like this and as you can see they turn off you can write your own patterns as well now we are going to make it say hello to us we're going to use the display text hello it's a little bit quick though and and this is it saying hello to us now let's use the a button on the micro bit and the b button let's first use b button b so display text hello and let's maybe just add our own thing you can see it's working already another way to start is just by clicking but if you click the button B like now you can see it started and that's great if you you can write whatever you want I'm good just going to write a plus sign on it Ta -da! now click B and ta -da! it's saying hello to us and is also making a plus sign that's great and since it's new year so let's write happy new year now let's see what happens now click B and it will work happy new year to all of you who are watching this video it can work really great it has a and b so you can work any of them and then it, it doesn't matter which one of the buttons you click just do this and then it it's like this you just click any button b or a and it will just work like a here and the same program is running and we have to wait for it to end otherwise it will just go from the beginning and mix up 
with what's going on right now. Then we click B and it will do all of the job. There are more advanced functions, but we'll talk about those later. This is it for this video. Okay, bye and have a happy new year.